Very good evening and welcome to our evening prayer on this Monday, the 24th of August, 2020. Today we are celebrating the feast day of St. Bartholomew the Apostle. It's long been assumed that Bartholomew is the same as Nathaniel, although it's not a certainty. The Gospels speak of Philip bringing Nathaniel to Jesus and calling him an Israelite worthy of that name. He is also present beside the Sea of Galilee at the resurrection. Although he seems initially a somewhat cynical man, he recognizes Jesus for who he is and proclaims him as the Son of God and King of Israel. And so we come now to our evening prayer and our prayers of preparation. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. Now as darkness is falling, wash away our transgressions, cleanse us with your refining fire and make us temples of your Holy Spirit. By the light of Christ, dispel the darkness of our hearts and make us ready to enter your kingdom, where songs of praise forever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And so the hymn I've chosen for this evening is the uh, saint's hymn, Glory to you, O God. Glory to you, O God, for all your saints in light who nobly waged and won the fierce and well-fought fight. Their praises sing, who life and fought by fire and sword for Christ their King. Thanks be to you, O Lord, for saints your spirit stirred, in humble paths to live your life and speak your word. Unnumbered they whose shining light informs our sight from day to day. Lord God of truth and love, your kingdom come, we pray. Give us your grace to know your truth and walk your way. Your will be done here on this earth till saints in earth and heaven are one. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. First psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say to the Lord, my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his wings and you shall be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks at darkness, nor of the sickness that wastes at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. Your eyes only have to, have to behold to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your stronghold, there shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your tent. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. They shall tread, you shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because they have set their love upon me, therefore will I deliver them. I will lift them up because they know my name. They will call upon me and I I will answer them. I am with them in trouble. I will deliver them and bring them to honor. With long life will I satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. 
Second Psalm, Psalm 116. I love the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my supplication, because he inclined his ear to me on the day I called to him. The snares of death encompassed me, the pains of hell took hold of me, by grief and sorrow was I held. Then I called upon the name of the Lord, O Lord, I beg you, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous, our God is full of compassion. The Lord watches over the simple, I was brought very low and he saved me. Turn again to your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has been gracious to you. For you have been delivered, for you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed that I should perish, for I was sorely troubled. And I said in my alarm, everyone is a liar. How shall I repay the Lord for all the benefits he has given to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. You, O Lord, I am your servant, your servant, the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. First reading and pointed for this evening is from the book of Ecclesiasticus, the uh, Wisdom of Jesus, Ben Sira, chapter 39. He seeks out the wisdom of all the ancients and is concerned with prophecies. He preserves the sayings of the famous and penetrates the subtleties of parables. He seeks out the hidden meanings of proverbs and is at home with the obscurity of parables. He serves among the great and appears before rulers. He travels in foreign lands and learns what is good and evil in the human lot. He sets his heart on rising early to seek the Lord who made him and to petition the Most High. He opens his mouth in prayer and asks pardon for his sins. If the Lord is willing, he will be filled with the spirit of understanding. He will pour forth words of wisdom of his own and give thanks to the Lord in prayer. The Lord will direct his counsel and knowledge as he meditates on his mysteries. He will show the wisdom of what he has learnt and will glory in the law of the Lord's covenant. Many will praise his understanding. It will never be blotted out. His memory will not disappear and his name will live throughout all generations. Nations will speak of his wisdom and the congregation will proclaim his praise. Here ends the first reading. And our canticle. Christ was believed in throughout the world and taken up in glory. Christ Jesus was revealed in the flesh and vindicated in the spirit. He was seen by angels and proclaimed among the nations. Believed in throughout the world, he was taken up in glory. This will be made manifest at the proper time by the blessed and only sovereign who alone has immortality and dwells in unapproachable light. To the King of kings and Lord of lords be honour and eternal dominion. Amen. Christ was believed in throughout the world and taken up in glory. A reading from the, from the Gospel according to St Matthew, chapter 10. Then Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to cure every disease and every sickness. These are the names of the twelve apostles, first Simon, known as Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Cain, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, the one who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Go nowhere among the Gentiles and enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, proclaim the good news, the kingdom of heaven has come near you. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You receive without payment, give without payment. 
Take no gold, no silver, no copper in your belts, no bag for your journey, or two tunics or sandals or a staff, for labourers deserve their food. Whatever town or village you enter, find out who in it is worthy and stay there until you leave. As you enter the house, greet it. If the house is worthy, let your peace be upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to you, shake off the dust from your feet as you leave that house or town. Truly I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. See, I am sending you out like sheep into the midst of wolves, so be wise as serpent and innocent as doves. Beware of them, for they will drag you over to the councils and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings because of me, as a testimony to them and to the Gentiles. When they hand you over, do not worry how you are to speak or what you are to say, for you are to say what will be given to you at that time, for it is not you who speak but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child, until it will rise against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all because of my name, but to the one who endures to the end will be saved. Here ends the second reading and our responsory. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. The Magnificat. On the foundation stones of the heavenly city are written the names of the apostles of the Lamb. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and has sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. On the foundation stones of the heavenly city are written the names of the apostles of the Lamb. So we come now to our prayers of intercession. On this feast day of St. Bartholomew the Apostle, we pray for all those who continue to proclaim the good news of salvation, of those who say to the world, the kingdom of heaven is very near of those who go out and proclaim the world, of those who heal the sick and heal the nations in the name of the Lord Jesus. We pray especially for the Anglican communion throughout the world, praying for the Diocese of Kibondo in Nigeria, for Sos Peter, its bishop, for the Diocese of Kigale in Rwanda, for Nathan, its bishop, and for the Diocese of Kigeme, also in Rwanda, and for Asiel, its bishop. We continue to pray for this Diocese of St. Asaph, for this Church of St. Giles, giving thanks for the worship and the witness of this Church throughout the ages, and giving thanks for the resumption of public worship here. We pray too for those who look after this Diocese, praying as always for Gregory, our bishop at this time, and praying especially today for the work of the diocesan office and for Tracy White, the Director of Resources, as she supports churches in facing the future with faith and confidence and offers guidance on issues of governance. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly, pray Heavenly Father, we pray for the needs of the world around us, praying for those in authority, praying for those who make decisions on behalf of others, praying especially for the work of education at this time, 
praying for those who are preparing to return to schools and hospitals to schools and colleges and universities. As we pray for them on this feast day of Bartholomew, we pray too for the work of hospitals, particularly the hospital in this community, for all who work there, for medics and for support staff, and for all who administer the hospital, and we pray for all the patients at this time. <coughs> Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray too for those who are in need of our prayers at this time, continuing to pray for Colin and all those in nursing and residential homes, unable to see their families and but preparing to see them for the first time, and also for Daniel and for all prisoners. We pray especially for the families who are worried and anxious about those they are unable to see. We pray by name for Luke and Emma, for Louise, for Alwyn and Gwen, for Sue, for Richard, for Tim, for Muriel especially at this time, for David, Angela and Peggy. We pray for those who are bereaved, especially Dory and Deanne. We ask you, Lord, to be with them and touch them with your healing grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we remember that all those who have gone before us in the faith, among them Neville Davis, priest, Peter Excel, Muriel Yates. We pray too for those whose anniversaries fall at this time, for all those who have delivered the word of truth to us, but whom we now see no longer. Rest eternal, grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in a few moments of quiet, we bring to our Heavenly Father our needs, our petitions, and our thanksgiving. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer and the collect for St. Bartholomew. Almighty and everlasting God, you gave your Apostle Bartholomew grace truly to believe and to preach your word. Grant that your church may love that word which he believed and may faithfully preach and receive the same. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much for joining me this evening.